Hey, so welcome back to the channel, guys. Um, most of you already know that follow me on Instagram. I did say that I was no longer going to really do YouTube content. However, after having a conversation with a former coworker, um, the guy kind of motivated me a little bit to say, hey, you know what, screw it. Even though despite I feel like I have no time to really do this kind of stuff, in reality, I kind of do. I mean, I'm like 90% of the time, like I've just been having a lot of you know, curveballs being thrown my way in life. Um, I'm always running tight on money. At the same time, I don't really have time to pick up a second job because the way that my other schedule works, um, it's very conflicting and it's almost impossible to try to fit another job into it. But at the same time, I need to take care of my animals. And if I pick up a second job, then it will be a little too difficult for me to do that. But, you know, I'm able to afford to feed them and stuff like that. So that's and take care of them. So that's what matters. But at the same time, I don't have a lot of extra money for myself type thing. So with the, despite the, you know, the financial woes and stuff like that, I don't want to really get into that kind of stuff. But mainly what I'm doing today on this video is that I want to kind of showcase my uh, newest addition to my collection which would be my uh, Gecko Smithy um, named John Boy. Um, he's a really awesome looking gecko. I did have him out earlier when I originally shot footage for this part of the video, but after recording for about 20 some 30 minutes, uh, and I uploaded it on the comu my computer, I realized that it didn't record any audio, any audio. at all. So I'm really hoping that it's doing it this time. I mean, I did do a test run, so got my fingers crossed. It says I already had him out and I went through that whole process of recording and stuff like that. Um, I did not want to take him out again, but instead I will kind of throw in some B-roll style shots that I decided to do to kind of fill in gaps and make it look cool and you know, and hopefully that will be enough for you guys to really see what he looks like. I like I had been researching green eyed geckos since I first got into Tokays. Like I actually got really obsessed with Tokays and I like was like hell bent on trying to get my hands on one because I wanted to see what all the hubbub was about when it came to Tokays, knowing that, you know, there are easily the most beautiful gecko in my opinion in the world, but at the same time having their pugnacious attitude that gives them such a bad rap and I've already kind of disproven to myself that no they are not as evil as people love to portray them to be yes I have seen videos of you know tokes and stuff like that biting onto someone's hand and death rolling and those are like the worst circumstances but at the same time you do not know what the individual that shot that actually did prior to that and you know the experience that the toke itself has with humans and most likely is not a good one so but the green the reason why i'm talking about tokes is that the green-eyed gecko is part of the same genus as the toke gecko um they are called gecko smithy there are the common names include uh, smith's giant gecko or smith's green-eyed gecko or giant forest gecko they have very, very, very similar builds. They are related to each other. They have very similar color patterning, but not necessarily the color, more so just the design of how the colors are laid out. They have very similar uh, dark banding. Um, they have spots and stuff like that, except with tokes, it's usually like you know, navy blue and powder blue, sometimes green with orange and red spots and that's kind of what the norm would be when it comes to a toke with green-eyed geckos they rain they kind of have like a yellowish green color as a base color uh, more predominantly on their belly scales and stuff like that but when they do fire up they turn into like a dark forest green and hence the name of a green-eyed gecko their eyes are a very vibrant green almost like a sea foam green it's kind of it's really interesting um just like their cousin the toke gecko they do have a pugnacious attitude um they do bite actually the worst bite i've ever received from a gecko actually came from john boy 
um, he ripped my hand up pretty good. Um, worse than any other Toke bite that I've actually received. Which is funny because Toke definitely have like a stronger bite force than the Green-Eyed Gecko. Um, but the Green-Eyed Gecko definitely has like, you know, it's got some, it packs a punch, that's for sure. But other than that, uh, from what I've experienced though with uh, Green-Eyed Geckos, there are some differences despite the similarities that both species have with each other. One thing I will say that, um, to, uh, green eyed geckos are a lot more sensitive to um, their environmental surroundings. Uh, Tokyo geckos tend to be a little bit hardier, but with the green eyed gecko, they do like it a little bit more on the humid side um, and they don't tolerate the fluctuations as well. So, a lot most of the time, what that ends up doing it ends up creating an issue with um, their eating. Um, they don't really won't willingly eat if the humidity is too low or if it's too high. So you know, keeping that in mind, that most likely has to do with um, their wild caught nature because 99% of them are definitely wild caught animals. Um, now, I'd never condone anybody to buy wild caught uh, animals. I would rather people buy captive bred, but in order for people to have captive bred Tokyo geckos, green eyed geckos and stuff like that, there has to be a demand. That And with a demand, you have to educate people and get them to experience what those animals are truly like besides the stereotypical um, misinformation that tends to be spread about them or misconstrued information. It's like the same thing when I go on YouTube and I watch videos of people talk about toke geckos and they talk about them being the pit bulls of the gecko world or you know they're vicious devils and they just want to rip your hands to shreds and they will eat your fingers and that's simply like you know not true like at all i really wish people would stop saying shit like that because it's stupid they do eat a variety of insects um however though at the same time i for what i have experienced the only thing that john will really take will be crickets and it seems to be the same case with some of my toe case too like you definitely want to give them variety but sometimes you are going to get animals that are very selective. You want to have an animal that will willingly take anything you put in there because variety is key. But just keep in mind sometimes, especially with wild caught geckos, like they won't readily take to, um, you know, captive uh, feeder insects because it's not normal to them. They don't really normally eat that in the wild. So it can be a little bit of a troublesome thing at some points. Other than that, their care is almost identical to a toke gecko. I mean, they like it hot, they like it humid, they like vertical space, they are an arboreal species. I keep mine right now on an 18 by 18 by 24, but I can definitely foresee myself eventually getting a larger or taller enclosure down the road for them. And I may try to breed them as well if I can ever come across a female. Generally, the regions that, um, these guys come from is Southeast Asia, very similar to that, to their cousin, the Toke. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say Toke in this video. From what I was reading though, um, they seem to be found more commonly in Indonesia and surrounding islands near there, where they carry about their days hanging out on, you know, like sides of trees, waiting for a unsuspecting insect to crawl by or whatever could fit in their mouth. They'll, they'll pretty much take it out anything they can though. If it fits in their mouth, they will try to eat it. But hey, um, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. Um, I know this was a really short video. Um, unfortunately, I have things I gotta do. And I kinda just wanted to put something out quick and easy. Um, I know I normally, like, when I'm doing a video like this, where I call this more of a showcasing, I tend to put more information in it. But honestly, this was kind of very spontaneous. Um, I didn't really plan on making this video. I kinda just went with it. And if you guys liked what you see, um, I do want to do more videos. Um, it was a, I'm going to try to upload more regularly, but you know, in order for me to want to keep doing that, I need, you know, a reason to do so. So if you guys ever have any you know, suggestions for videos or anything like that, I really don't want to do the stereotypical stuff that you see in most pet uh, channels, like, you know, feeding videos and stuff like that. Most of the time, most of my geckos won't even eat in front of me. They will only eat when I'm not around. So pretty much you put the food in, you let them do their thing. I try not to disturb them during that time. But, you know, hit the subscribe button, like button, notification bell, you know, the whole same gist that everybody else says. <laughs> and if you liked what you see, please come back. I'll try to provide you guys some more videos. All right, guys. Thanks again. See you later.